Hello there everyone and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today I begin recording the final mission of this uh, season of uh, Kerbal Space Program. Uh, Flower Child has told me that the uh, current version of um, Better Than the Starting Man is pretty stable, not expecting any big changes in the near future, at least nothing that'll break saves, I hope. Um, I was hoping to do an asteroid intercept mission for my next, um, for my final mission. But unfortunately, I bought the wrong node again. Third time in a row, I made a wrong decision about which node to get. So, the way I see it, there is only one other logical thing we can do with uh, what we've got. And that is landing somebody on Landing that uh, that is sorry about the interruption. Landing someone on Minmus, I think that's a, a fine and worthy plan for our final mission. So this is going to be an interesting challenge. Alrighty, when in doubt, go with the classic solution. It's going to be a two-part launch. We're going to have send, this is interplanetary, mark my, my standard interplanetary launch. I played around, I will have cut this, but I played around with an asparagus staged monster that just did not work at all. So obviously a few things I still have to learn about how that works, but that's okay. So this is a nice compact docking ready rig here. The intent is I'll dock this with the, um, command module in Kerbin orbit and send everything from here down back into the atmosphere. So, yeah, and then here's the command module, um, which is a slightly heavier unit, but so it's gonna be doing less of the maneuvering, but it's also gonna be the, f the second launch. Where'd it go? Minmus, Lander, yeah, just don't even ask about those two failed designs. I'm... Yeah, there's something about that particular design of a ship that's just not quite clicking in my brain as well as I would like. So, as you saw earlier, the um, 4x4 four four, um, solar rig, RCS, Recycler, docking port on the top. No transmission capability because everything will have to be brought home. There is a emergency command module hiding in there. So if things are going horribly wrong on the return uh, with life support, which I highly doubt that's going to be my limiting factor, it's going to be electricity. It's always electricity. Um, should be, I should be okay. And again, it's on top of my standard heavy lift module. So Without any further ado, I'm going to put the uh, one of these into orbit on camera, and then I will re. Well, I'll do the first launch on camera, at least in part, and then we will see how the day plays out. It's been a bit of a long session. Designing a new ship that was a complete and utter failure is a bit of a waste of time. So I have a lot of material recorded that I will not get to use which is okay. Sometimes we make mistakes, and sometimes those mistakes aren't even worth discussing. <laughs> so, I can see where I need to go with that, with the um, asparagus staging, but I just, the power needed to get the ship I had designed into orbit just isn't there. It's way more efficient time-wise to just do two launches and be done with it. Because I can do two launches, and I've got a couple of tricks I have been advised of that should do provide dramatic improvements to my docking um, skills, um, which I will discuss more once I've actually got a ship, the ships in orbit. So, launching the lander module in three, two, one, lift off. Oh boy. Slow it down a little there, bud. Don't be hasty. Don't be quite so hasty there. Let's get this thing working. 
We are going up and up. Perfect. We'll get ourselves up a few thousand meters and watch our throttle. But I think we're going to be okay. Uh, so, I will probably, in a few minutes, moments, cut to uh, the launch of the um, command module. And then both will see you in orbit. Alrighty. Alright, lander in orbit with less than a thousand meters of variation in the orbit. So it's a nice clean orbit to work with. So let's get to the Space Center and launch our command module, which is going to launch manned, of course. This is the one that could go horribly wrong with that massive uh, that massive um, solar panels on it, but we shall see. Let's we'll grab it this way rather than going into the VAB because everything is ready to go as far as I can tell. Minmus Lander Mark Three Command Lars Kerman, our intrepid interstellar explorer, shall rise again and risk his life once more for Kerbal science. So, let's get this thing into orbit, and hopefully in this episode we can get the two things docked. Ooh, yes, hold on. Hold your horses. I made one minor mistake. One very minor mistake. we got to wait for the right time to launch. Because that thing's sitting up there in orbit, and it would be nice to actually arrive somewhat close to when this thing is coming up overhead. So hopefully Lars isn't sitting there at the launch pad suffocating or we'll have to, um... all right, there it is, there's us. So we'll wanna launch when it's coming up over the horizon. So somewhere about here. We're gonna to wanna, to, if we can come into a lower orbit, we can come in from behind it. I guess it doesn't matter too much because this thing's going to be doing all the maneuvering. So that should do. All right, let's uh, fly that thing and let's get this thing into orbit. Another nice clean equatorial orbit coming right up. Okay, ready, set, check the resources, good, nothing has been used of significance, they've kept it fueled on the launch pad here, launching in, three, two, one, lift off of the command module, we are going to Minmus, one way or another. Okay, let's get a little... Don't want our engines to explode. That would be absolutely tragic. Okay, looks like a good launch. Plenty of power. It doesn't look like mass is going to be a significant issue for this thing. Which is good. So I will see you in orbit around uh, Kerbin and when we're getting ready to do this docking maneuver. Alrighty guys, we have an intersect um, of a sort. This used a lot more fuel to get into orbit than I had originally intended, so I think we're going to be repurposing this ship's uh, launch stage as a extra or departure boost setup. It's going to be a bit of an interesting thing. I have no idea how well it's going to go. But this one is going to be doing all of the work with the docking. So everything that we need to do to dock with the uh, command module 
will be done by this one because it has twice as much RCS and a lot more fuel left and I don't want to waste anything if I don't have to. So this will be the ship in charge. So I figure if I attach this to the command module and flip the whole thing around and use this as the initial departure boost stage, it could be ugly. That's where quick saves come into play. All right, where's my target? Set as target, there's our target. Now we are ahead of the target, I believe, yes. It's trying to catch up to us. And we're still gonna be quite a distance away when we get there. Now the question really comes down to, let's quick save right here. Let's see, if I slow down when our orbits are, yeah, if I bring my orbit down, so it's going to be slowing down when I'm close to the ship to bring my uh, apoapsis down. That lovely, perfect circular orbit of mine. All right, so we need to burn retrograde, which is also happens to be towards the target, because that should bring us closer. It says here in fine print. I was observed that I use that a lot, um, that phrase. Definitely a, a weird habit, I guess. Okay. Let's see. These two aren't getting any closer, but that's okay, because it's this right here that's the real thing that matters. I'm sure we're going to get a closer encounter here once we get this low enough. Are these numbers dropping? Yes, they are. Excellent. How close is this one? Increasing. All right, this is the one... 80 kilometer separation. Let's not push our luck here. Let's get to that um, intersect there and see what's next. Now, is this one going to be even closer? Target is behind us. Oh, when we get to intersect, when we get over here, we should be able to push this even closer. That's my hope, anyways. So we want to, preferably, let's see, we're going to want to slow down a bit more. Our apoapsis is slightly higher than our targets, so yeah, another bit of slowing down to bring that closer, yes, yeah, that will be right. Okay, and do that in just a couple more seconds here. So let's see. Nope, that's increasing the distance. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's just let's just swing around the planet one more time. We'll have a fifty-kilometer and then a 23 kilometer. So one more orbit, and that that one right there should be the one we're looking for. And we're gonna look to drop that one to a much better state. Now the question is, what's the third, what's the one here going to be? Oh, jeepers, well, let's take it. Let's take it, one more orbit. This is just going to be just about perfect. So the goal will be to, now we know where to burn retro to target to slow down. Yeah, and that's where we pass each other. So this is the one we want right here. Mm. 
are slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. So we're going to be burning towards our target because are we speeding up? Yeah, we are speeding up. Okay, so we're going to need to slow down relative to our target. So we need to find our retrograde marker. Because we want to stay close, so we don't want to be moving too fast relative to it. And of course I went the wrong way. That's all right. There it is. Slow it down. Of course I went exactly the wrong way around this thing, didn't I? Okay. Slow down. There we are. All right, no, we're getting further away now. That's okay. We slowed down. Now we burn towards our target. Try and get a closer intersection right here. No, no, more slowing down. It's got to be more slowing down, doesn't it? Because we're currently speeding up. No, that's not it. And burning towards the target won't work because are we slightly ahead of it now? No, it's slightly ahead of us, so we need to catch up with it now. Hmm. I don't know. Something weird is going on. There we go. Isn't that it? See, this one's got... We've got a higher periapsis than our target, so yeah, we do need to burn retro to bring that down. Assuming that's what's happening. Okay. Details, details, details. It's always about the details. So if we burn ret, maybe we're, I might be misreading the side of the target I'm on, in which case we do need to burn retro to away from the target. That doesn't seem right though, does it? Either that or it's prograde to target. Nope, 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 that's not working. I don't know. Sometimes this game just seems to have it in for me. I mean, we're, we're only eight kilometers apart from each other right now. Okay, let's just trust my instinct here. And my instinct is to burn this relative speed to zero and ignore those markers. So let's do it. Get that down, 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 down. There we are. That's doing what I wanted it to do now. There we are. That's more like it. Four, three. 2.7 kilometers, that will do. By the time we get there, we should be at a position where our target will actually be visible to us. There it is. All right, now 
now we're going quite quickly relative to target again. And so we need to do a bit more slowing down, unless we're getting closer still. No, nope, we're not. That is definitely our from each other. We always want to be moving towards each other, so I have to be careful with these numbers here. Alright, that's pretty much functionally right on Yeah, we're pretty much there. That should do it anymore and we're going to wind up burning away from our target. Okay, now then, point this at my target. Okay, switch, set as target point you at your target, flying from here, of course. All right, we've got, hopefully still, we've only used three life support so far, so hopefully that is still okay. Okay. There it is. Okay, and stop right there. Stop it. Where the heck are you going? There we go. Okay, and lock you right there. There we are. Switch back, and then we will burn towards our target with our RCS. Perfect. We're going in nice and fast now. We're actually still a little ways away, aren't we? So a bit of extra speed will not hurt. Definitely will not hurt. Yeah, oh yeah, we're gonna be only 100 meters away in just a little while. So let's just do a bit of time warping because this is going to take a while. Okay, slow down. All right, now it's time to slow down a whole bunch here because otherwise we're going to overshoot. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. That is exactly where I want to be right now. All right, now to change modes a little. We need to be in chase camera because it makes everything suddenly orient in a much more logical manner relative to my target. And that is the piece of the puzzle I have been missing for a while. So thank you very much for letting me know in the comments in the last episode. I think it's going to make a huge difference to the way this docking process goes. Because now, when I push these uh, docking keys, it actually moves in the direction I expect it to move relative to the target. Which is a good thing. So, honestly, a much, much better docking than I have had in a while. He says, 
counting his chickens before they hatch. That's okay, I think we're gonna be good. Slow down a little, down to one meter per second. Yeah, so yeah, I think we'll use this. This ship has so much fuel left, it actually has more fuel left than this one. If I'd been thinking, I would have thrown a fuel pump in this thing and then we'd be really laughing. But since I didn't do that, um, instead we are going to um, use this as a booster stage, which is not exactly what I had been anticipating, but it should be interesting. Okay. All right, let's make sure we're targeting docking port. Should make a lot of difference. Let's make sure, where's my target? Come on, set as target. Let's do a little rotation here. Okay, right there, excellent. Back a bit, come on. Okay, lock it on, good stuff. Now slow down. Okay, whoops, fine controls. further. All right, now just rotate to point it at the target. Okay, this should do it. I've got to keep all three of these markers lined up nicely. And I think we are going to be good here. 23 meters to go. I just gotta keep these three mostly lined up and we should be good. I just hope that these uh, docking ports can take the torque I'm thinking about putting on this ship. That could be ugly. All right, let's see. It looks like we're in the right place. Let's just give it one more couple forward pulses here. We don't want this to take hours. 0 0.3, there we go. It looks like we are right on target. I'm gonna trust my markers that say we are really close to being right on target. Okay. Contact in just a few more moments here. Just turn it just a little bit more. Oh, it feels so fast, doesn't it? Okay, a bit slower. Beautiful, look at that. Okay, and SAS. Oh, we're just a little out of alignment, oh no. Oh, shoot, we drifted just a little at the last second there, didn't we? Okay. Okay, just a little bit back. Okay. more.
There we go. Perfect. Huh. Well, that was pretty awesome. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to get rid of this, uh, shut this probe core down to save a little power. And okay, that's it for today. In the next episode, we are going to see what kind of horror show it's going to be to get this thing flying towards Minmus. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.